Hey guys, welcome back to PMP Talk Show. This is Precious and this yeah. is Priscilla. And welcome to Precious and Priscilla Talk Show. So guys, today we have for you the topic we have for you guys here is finding yourself the importance of finding yourself because a lot of people are having problems with finding themselves, you know, these days. Why is it so important to um, find yourself to know the type of person you are, you know, it's, it's, you know, the world we live in now, you know, things are going on, people yes. are doing things. Why is it so important to find yourself within certain situations you find yourself in? Why is it so important to find yourself? That's a good question, Precious, because it's like now you know nowadays it's like we have social media mm -hmm. we have you know so many things going on we have the kardashian you know instagram yeah. people want to look that way like mm -hmm. it's like these days women as a whole for us we should look certain you know we should have certain shape we should dress certain way mm -hmm. you know in order for men to be able to look at us so it's just like you know the attention from social media from mm -hmm. the world from everything mm -hmm. it's just that if you don't find yourself you know it's like if you don't know yourself, it's just like you will lose it, but you have to know yourself. Mm -hmm. And the important thing for, you know, knowing yourself or finding yourself is that it gives you, you know, high self-esteem. So it's like if you, you know, find yourself, you have high self-esteem, high confidence, you know what you're doing, yes. you know your strengths, you That's know your right. weaknesses. Mm -hmm. It's that like you have it all together. Yeah, so even when somebody comes and say, oh, you can't do this or you can't be this person, you can never go far. It's like you've been through it all so you're yeah. like I know myself I, know myself I am confident and I can do this so it's very important to know yourself because if you don't know yourself you are going on the wrong path you know so it's very important and here guys here are some of the things you can do to find yourself to know yourself and get yourself out of certain situation you are in by doing things you like like going to the movies yes. uh, um, going bowling you don't have to go with people you don't have to do things with people before if you you have a talent like acting like you know being an actress or an actor you know do things that makes you happy if you love to be on TV you know oh, yes. go for it if you want to be a model go for it don't let people bring you down you know don't let anybody tell you you cannot do it tell them who are you you know because you can do it within yourself you know as long you find yourself you know yourself you know what you can do trust me you can do everything you yes. want to do yes and another thing you can do is go out more yeah have fun just go out experience things you know yes. this world has so many things to offer us so you just be in your little corner and you're not going out there to yes. explore you know to see things just go try new food travel Try to learn how to spend a long time with yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to sit, you have to do things to find that within you. It's a mm -hmm. journey you have to go on. So to find yourself, you just have to go out there, you know. Go, out. go on day, go you know. Day. Do things that you would like to do that will help you to find the true person that you are. And here are some of the things that you, you can do if you're a Christian, you love to pray. Pray, you know, you don't have to go to the church. You don't have to seek the pastor. You don't have to call somebody to pray with. You can sit in your living room, your room, and you can pray. You know, Christian, Muslim, whatsoever you worship, just sit by yourself and meditate and find yourself, guys. Because finding yourself is number one thing that you need to find yourself and to know yourself. That's yes. that's the best thing ever to yes. do. Like nobody can help you find mm -hmm. yourself but mm -hmm. you. You. Yeah. And another thing you can do is try to be truth to yourself. Yeah. If you find yourself in a situation or in certain condition and you know within yourself your gut feeling is telling you is that the right condition or situation you're in or you finding yourself in certain things you know but you know it's not right but you keep lying to yourself Jeez, like yeah. i will make it through this i will do this and you know it won't work get yourself out you know be true to yourself yes, don't live fake life you know be honest with yourself things you don't do you know normally you don't do don't post for don't post things on facebook instagram 
pretending to be something else that you're not you know yeah. you have to be true to yourself because let people love you for who you are you know present know what you have if they don't like it they have problem but you have to be true to yourself mm -hmm. and show your true self to people out there so i mean this is a conclusion for the whole discussion mm -hmm. so precious do you have any advice for people out there who struggling you know on this journey of like trying to find themselves mm -hmm. do you have any little advice you want to you know give them well for me my advice is um do you don't pay attention don't listen to what people say because no matter what people are always going to tell you you are nothing people are always going to bring you down people are always going to try to bring you down but you know yourself you know yourself than anyone nobody know you than the way you know yourself so Find yourself, be truthful to yourself, and be honest with yourself. The moment you know yourself, you find yourself, it's amazing. Yes. You know, like, nobody can bring you down. Nobody can say anything about you because you know about yourself. You know what you can do. You know within yourself what you can do. Yes. Yep. So. And my advice I have is... Finding yourself, like I said, is a journey. It's a mm -hmm. personal journey that you have to take. You don't need the help of your relationship, mom, dad, uncle, or anybody. It's you have to step out of your comfort zone. You have to push yourself. You have to go out there and seek things, experience things, you know, mm -hmm. find a spiritual journey that you can, you know, try to hang on somebody to, you know, like, or higher power and all those things. You know, finding yourself is not somebody trying to help you. It's you you know stepping out of the picture and you trying to be who you want to be yes. and finding you because you know who you are yes thanks for sitting that's it for today guys yes. um so we have before us to uh, move on we just have this little game we want to play and then we just wrap this whole show yes. but again we have to play it's called never have i ever and precious will explain to you yes. what this game is about so mm -hmm. yeah just go ahead and so guys we're gonna play this game called never have i ever so Pris priscilla gonna ask me some questions yes. and if i've done it i would say i have if I have never, I would say never, so let's do this. Yeah, yeah. so I mean, she already says it, so I would just ask my question. If she has, she would say I have. If not, she would say never. So the first question I have here, this is yours. The first question I have here is, have you... <laughs> what is it going to be? Have, never, never ever. Have. So the first question I have here is, never have I ever fart in public. <laughs> <laughs> so yes guys i did you know far don't have a bathroom okay you can do it anywhere i went to a walmart before and i was like on the line buying food and stuff and i went too far so i fired on the line lucky it didn't smell so nobody know about it <laughs> it is now i well, guess guys, yes my story <laughs> I was at my school to have an elevator. I was, you know, trying to go to my room. I was standing right there waiting for the elevator. It was about to come down. So, you know, I was just thinking I was the only person there. So I just, as soon as I fart, another girl came. She opened the door. Right away, the elevator went. It opened and some girls just walked out past both of us. And then when a girl walked out, she said, oh, she farted. I was like, yeah. And we entered the elevator. And we both and our nose you. together. Yeah, it was me. And we both hold our nose together and we went separate ways. So what's your that was funny guys? <laughs> oh my question is never have I ever been catfish before. Uh -huh. Should I go ahead? Yes, go ahead. Oh my um catfish story was I had a dating website I was on and I actually somebody texted me a guy texts me we're talking he pretended to be a white guy and he was dark skinned when I found out that he wasn't the person he was I blocked him I forgive him first and then I blocked him Aww. and I moved on <laughs> <laughs> well for me yes I have been catfish before like my sister I was on the website too talking to somebody and they said they wanted to send me money um and the guy asked for my information my bank um account number oh, no. and he yeah and he tell me he can go to Walmart to send me money I should send my bank information to send me money I'm like nope and I called my sister and I told her she's the girl that's catfish right there and I text him by and I told him boy 
Mm -mm. I ain't saying my money to you. So, yes. yep. Uh -uh. <laughs> so, the next question actually, I have um, here is Never have I ever been um, embarrassed in front of my crush. <laughs> I, I have been embarrassed in front of my crush. It's not like an embarrassment kind of. I used to have a speech class in college and my crush was sitting right in the front, the front row and I have to stand right in front of him to present to the whole class mm -hmm. and every other girls in the back where I used to sit, I used to talk with people, had a crush on him, oh my gosh, oh, this guy was so beautiful, I can't say, I can't say handsome but he was beautiful, his hair oh, and for Lord. me to stay in front of the class oh. and talk, I was used to be like, um, uh, um, yeah, I didn't know what to say, so it was kind of like embarrassing for me so what's your story fresh well for me is at the gym i have this cute dude he's so cute like we work out like the same time and stuff so i was trying to get on the weight to you know do my stretches and stuff and i didn't know how to pull the weight down and he was like sitting right side me and he kept looking at me you know when somebody's looking at you can right. tell. so i'm like should i ask him but then i don't want to ask him so lucky that some dude was passing and he came he helped me he put it down and i sat on that and i did my workout oh, yeah. lord thank you yeah <laughs> so what's the yeah. line what's the other question my last question is uh never have i ever cried during a movie i have i have cried during a movie like i am an uh, emotional sorry guys i am an emotional being so like if i watch a movie and i see my favorite character or somebody who i liked in a movie mm -hmm. die or acting or anything i will cry yes i will cry like my sister said a lot of women do that like if you're watching the movie you love somebody in the movie they get killed or whatever i freaking movie whatsoever movie it is i cry yes. in my house i sit and i cry like i'm in the movie so guys it's it's yes. simple, so. so for us to conclude today's episode yeah. on PMP pressures and, and Priscilla, Priscilla talk, talk show, we just want to say, you know, go out there, be positive, dream, you know, live your dream, start to be who you want to be, be mm -hmm. happy, don't be fake, live the real life, be the beautiful person that God has made you to be. Yes. Do you have anything you want to that's, say? That's 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 it, guys. Be you, no matter what. Don't try to be other people. Don't try to fit in guys be you because at the end of the day you're going home you're going to yourself you're not going home with a lot of people in the house that are going to judge you you're going to do you yes. feel free and do you no matter what and you're always going to feel happy you're always going to feel blessed because why you are truthful to yourself and you will love yourself and you will you will be happy you know yeah. Just, just be you. Yeah. So guys, anyway, thank you all. We hope you, you know, go out there, try yes. to find yourself, do these things, and we hope to see you guys next time on our talk show. So, thank you all for watching, and God bless you. So, bye.